YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Today I'm going to start uh, with a flip through of the index card projects that I've already completed. It This ring is getting a bit chunky and I love that I'm still using the Super Nintendo uh, image on the front of this collection of index cards and I'm loving how the whole thing is just coming together getting so bulky and as some junk journalers would say it's got a gator mouth. So I'm just going to let the music play while I go through these projects. Some of them are on my YouTube channel and some of them I did without filming. If there are any questions about any of these projects, please just put the question in the comment section below and I'll get back to you.
For today's project, I've decided to continue with another index card. I'm going to choose that colorful lesson that I learned from Mimi Bondi and do the reverse. I'm going to start with the cool colors and try putting the warm colors on top. Wish me luck. With a 2HB pencil, I'll make some marks. And then it's time for some scribble journaling. I have a lot to dump out of my head. <laughs> Once I'm done scribble journaling, I will dry brush some gesso on top. I'll choose these two cool tones, the blue and the green. I'll pour them out on my palette and I'm going to use a baby wipe and start building up layers to get the opacity I'm after. Once the cool tones have dried off for the final layer, I'll get out the warm tones, pour them out on my palette, and then get my fingers messy in the paint and make some marks. I'm going to choose a darker tone of blue and this small dot stencil and I'll sponge it out across the project bringing everything together. I was going to try to do squares for this project but it ended up being so pretty with the circles that I duplicated it. I poured out some gesso and will use a cosmetic sponge to add some hazy circles, some fuzzy, fuzzy, fun circles.
Now, I had to learn a hard lesson about India ink. I thought this was acrylic ink and that it would dry permanent. My mistake. <laughs> my mistake it continually reactivates on this project causing some smudges and smears that I didn't quite notice on my last project I'm going to take some of that Indian ink and a very small detail brush and create those circles to highlight some areas on the background And then with that same ink and detail brush, I'm going to add stems and leaves, but my placement of these are gonna be a bit more deliberate this time. With a couple of found objects from my drawer of mark making stuff I've found around the house, I'll choose two circular objects and go ahead and stamp out some white circles here and there. Next, it's time for some finger painting. I'll start by adding some gesso here and there, bringing color up and pushing it back. I'll add some gelatos to the background to enhance the colors I've already chosen. And I will go back and forth with gesso and paint and ink, developing these circles, these worlds, these flowers, until everything is looking good to my eye. I will add a blast of hairspray and let that dry. That'll be my fixative for this project. I really do need to get my hands on some proper fixative, but there's so many options. If you have a favorite fixative, will you please put it in the comment section below and let me know what you choose to use. And that way it'll help me decide which one to purchase for myself.
Once everything is set and dry, I'll pull out a Signo Uniball in broad white as well as a regular ballpoint pen in black. And I'll go ahead and add some doodles to some of these flowers, some of these planets, some of these worlds, some of these bubbles. <laughs> And my experiment of starting cool and moving to warm worked out beautifully. What a pretty card. I love how it turned out. The colors are inspiring even though they're reversed from my last colorful project. And I'm certainly pleased with the outcome. And that looks like that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting and all those good things. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.